Pam 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 bada 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 bam bam. Welcome to another Method Man lesson, and today I wanted to share with you guys a lesson in Clash of Clans, as well as circles and percentages. If you know your defense really well, then you will not get rocked like this guy is right here. He was just getting terrorized. Anyways, follow me for a lesson on circles and percentages, and maybe you can apply it to this video game right here. That way you don't get all your money stolen. Oh man, this guy is done. Topics that will be covered in this lesson is the area of a circle, the area of a square, ratios and proportions with percent, all in one problem. If you're trying to look for the common core standards of this lesson, they're listed right here, and I'll save you the trouble. What percentage of the Clash of Clans map is defended by one archer tower that has a radius attack range of 10.5 units? If you never played the game, here's all I'm asking. What percentage of the map is defended by this little circle right here, the archer tower? Area of the map, let's start with that. The area is made out of a square that has a length of 44 and a width of 44. To find the area of a square, all I have to do is length times width, length times width, which is 44 times 44. And that gives me 1,936 units. To find that area defended by that archer tower, we just use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi r squared. r stands for our radius. The radius is given to us with 10.5 units, so all I have to do is plug that into my formula. Instead of pi, I'll use 3.14 times the radius. 10.5 squared so that archer tower defends about 346.18 units it would be really deadly last let's calculate the percent of what that is compared to the whole map all you have to do to calculate that is this little proportion that i always teach my students to calculate percent which is part whole whatever the percent is that you're trying to find over a hundred part part of the map that we're trying to find is the area defended by the archer tower which has 346.18 units so i'll put that on the top 346.18 whole whole means the whole map whole map is covered by 1936 units i'll put that at the bottom the hundred is always there to calculate the percent i'll leave that there and the percent is the one that's missing. That's what we're trying to find out. To solve this proportion, all I have to do is cross multiply and solve. 1,936 times x is just that, equals 346.18 times 100, which is 34,618. I'm gonna solve for x and I get my percentage. Divide both sides by 1936 equals 17.88% of the map. It means that circle right here is 17.88% of the whole map. So just imagine if you had five of those archer towers, you almost have your whole map defended by just archer towers. Let's try this second problem on your own. Let me read it for you. What percentage of the map is defended by two expos if the attack range of each expo do not intersect? When you're done, unpause the video for brief explanation. Similar to the first problem, first we had to calculate the area of the map, which is a square length times width, 44 times 44, and you get 1,936. That's everything. Now we calculate the area defended by two expos. To do that, we take out pi, 3.14, using that number, times the radius, 11.5 units squared. But then we multiply it by two because there's two expos. We get the value of 830.53. Now we calculate the percent by setting up a proportion. The area of the expo, 830.53 divided by everything, 1936, equals x over 100. 
cross multiply and solve and then solve for x we divide by 1936 on both sides to get an amazing number of 42.99 percent covered by two expos that's almost half of the math hopefully you enjoyed this lesson and if it didn't help you with your clash of clans game it helped you with your geometry until then I will see you in the next Method Man episode.